Hey everyone, today we're going to be removing the TCM on this Mazda 5 2012. TCM is a transmission control model and in these models they always uh, get heated and they don't function and they give you all kind of problems and lights. I'll try to list them down there. Um, it's another one. We'll try to get it done before the rain. Uh, I will show you the tools I will be using and then I will take you through removing all the stuff and then getting the part out and sending it to Upfix uh, so they can take it apart, fix it. Uh, stay tuned. So those are the tools you will need to get this job done. It's fairly easy. It's just a lot of things on the way but you need a screwdriver, a 10 milli uh, wrench, 10 milli socket, uh, and then a ratchet. And I will take you through it and you should be able to do it at home. It's fairly easy. Also, another thing, gloves. So the TCM is located all the way below here. Uh, to get it, we have to move all of these out of the way, not fully, but just to have easy access uh, to it. Um, I will be taking the battery out, the case, uh, the air filter, I will move it away from the way, and that will give me easy access to there. So first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the battery, and I will do 10. After we disconnected the battery, we're gonna remove it by removing those two bolts in here, and then they should be all through. Let's see, yeah, right. working easy. Axis, and we're gonna get this faster. Oh, definitely need the deep socket, not this. like this removing this to okay can remove this cover away because anyway we get these connectors we disconnect them but we get this thing out of the way and it's easy. It says on it which side is the front. Put it away. Use your bolts and then to have easy access or to easily remove the battery, I'm gonna disconnect the computer from here. It has white little things that I will show you. These they snap. I'm gonna push it from here and then just push it down. Disconnected those computer to the connectors. Just move them out of the way. They're, in, they're like attached here, they're stuck here. So that would make it easier for me. If I make it easier for me if I move them away, so I can get that box later on. So get this. This battery case, like it's two pieces. This is the first piece in the front. There's a few things connected to it. Let me show you this. So to remove this part from the battery, those wires, they are connected with the 
these things. Here, there's that one. So with the screwdriver, I'm just gonna unattach them from this whole bracket and then move it out. So I found, I think it would be easier to remove the battery first <clears throat> and then get to those things. So that's what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pull it out. It's a bit heavy and you need like an angle to get it out. And then I would have access to those bolts and these things, I can just remove it. So all the connectors are removed from here. I can drop this thing out the way. And then there are some bolts in here are removed. Let's get to the intake box first. Move them out of move it out of the way so I can access what I need to. So to get a remove, I disconnected this and then the hose from here I removed it and then there's a bolt here. I tie untightened and then I can move this up and just lift it up and remove this connector Get out of the way I'm just gonna remove everything and just put it on the side and also I'm gonna remove this ball here to remove the filter then I'll have uh, easier access to all areas. clip attached to the air filter cover now this is kind of free I'm gonna move it all the way just a little bit to the side so I have clear view and then this just you can pull it out of the way this is the first thing out of the way I have access to these wires I'm just gonna move it out of the way and then I'm gonna access the battery box where I'm gonna untighten these three bolts turn I believe and get it out of there with my hand now I untighten all the bolts that are holding this cover I can There is a wire attached to it right here. I need to move it. Lifting it that way, pushing it back, and then lifting it. 
ready them. And so all of this is just to get to the this end, the part where we want it, it's right here. So now we'll get you close to it so you can see what it is. So we removed battery and air filter. Air filter was in here and then the battery was in here. So we have access to the part that we're gonna change, which is the TCM. And it's hidden all the way behind here. So this is the part we're gonna change. Um, it has the similar of the, to the connectors that we disconnected earlier. And then you need some, I, I believe it's thin. Um, one of them would have to be in deep socket and then the other ones are back one in here and then one in the front uh, it's not it's a tight area but it's not that difficult to get it out um, I will try to put the camera somewhere near so you can see what I'm doing with it so this is as close as I can get and I have did I lock the camera down? Can I remove this deep socket? I'm gonna remove it with a deep socket, and then there's one here that I'm gonna try to get to, and there's one here that definitely with the extension. Second one. Yeah, just loosen it. And then I'll do the rest of the hand. Uh, there is one down here, but so that one, the last one we definitely need to do it this way. So before I loosen all, uh, I'll take them all out. I'll disconnect this. It's easy. See it. Just insert this thing right here. And then pull this thing up. And it pushes out. It's gonna lay it down here. And then take the other bolts out and then remove the pot. That easy. Now it's all the way out. I'm gonna send it to Upfix. They will uh, take it apart, fix it, and then send it back to me. And then when they send it back, I'm not gonna install it on the same place here because that's what causes the problem. Uh, it overheats or heats and then it, it, like, it malfunction or doesn't work properly. So what they're gonna send you the inspection with is you put it up here, you attach it, and then you put it with a zip tie or any mechanism that works for you. Just put it in here with the brake lines and then attach it and hopefully you want to uh, get too much heat and it will serve you for years. After we took the piece apart, we're gonna send it to uh, Upfix Auto to fix it and send it back to us. So this is a small box I have at home and I just added like an airbag or the bubble and then I'm gonna put this on top of it. And they have some forms just for extra protection so it doesn't get knocked out in the way. Uh, and then uh, they ask you to put inside uh, the return address and any notes. Um, so I'm going to print my return address and put it inside. And uh, also, 
I think would be useful for them is I went to AutoZone and got my um, diagnosis codes printed and they just attach it there so they have a clear idea of what's, what I was having in the car. It's a great uh, way AutoZone now gives you all printed. So last thing I would just put my address inside the return address and then close it and then I will put out on the outside their address and for now this is it uh, but usually when you order online or you go online they're going to give you updated or if it changes or anything you just check with them before sending it and I'm creating this video uh, for Upfix uh, they're so generous uh, kind of sponsoring the video uh, if you make a video removing any part that they fix, uh, they uh, they will fix your part for free. I highly recommend it. If you're a uh, little bit mechanically inclined, you could uh, do it. And then I'll just send it to them. Thank you.